Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. Seems like it's always windy at planting time, but how do you get those dry seed treatments put on your seed effectively? We'll discuss that in today's Iron Talk. We use dry seed treatments on all of our corn seed that we're going to be planting this spring, and we've done it for a number of years. Now you say, wait a minute, isn't it windy where you plant? Absolutely, it's windy. So you have to be a little bit creative on how you get those dry seed treatments applied so they can do a nice job and you don't end up with it all over your face. Now if you have a central fill unit, or even if you have three bushel boxes, it can be a little bit of a challenge putting on a dry seed treatment compared to the small boxes that we used to have on our planters. But it isn't something that should deter you from using those dry seed treatments. So here's what we do. With three bushel boxes, it's pretty easy. You put about half the box full of seed, then you dump your dry seed treatment in, then you put the rest of the seed in the box, and if you want, you can sprinkle a little dry seed treatment over the top. The important thing is to get good mixing with either a bulb auger or some sort of tube to stir that up. Now, if you've got the big central fill unit, you've got two choices. You can either treat the seed as it comes in the pro box, or you can try and treat it in that central fill unit. Either way, there are applicators available to treat large quantities of seed or into big containers. So don't think that you can't treat with a dry seed treatment. It may cost a little bit to get set up, but you certainly can do it on your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.